Hello, welcome all. Yeah, today we are going to see the derivation of Nernst distribution law. Well, before that, what we have seen in previous classes, Nernst distribution law. The law speaks about two-phase liquid system or two-phase system or where we are having solvents. Those are immiscible in character. So that exists in two phases, two different phases. So what this law speaks is whenever we are adding a solute to this two-phase system, then the ratio of concentration of that solute in one solvent to the other solvent will be a constant. So the ratio of concentration of solute in one solvent to the other solvent will be a constant. That constant is named as partition coefficient or distribution constant. Let us have a look on this derivation part of the Nernst distribution law. This is a very short question for the exam. Uh, usually it is used to ask. Uh, so what is, we know that a solute is distributed or added to the two immiscible solvents, solvent 1 and 2. And uh, we know that there is a, you have heard about the chemical potential term now. And that the chemical potential is the energy change or the, uh, the energy change when the total now in an extra species is added to the uh, system or here we are adding a sol solute to the two solvent so there will there exists a potential change already already there will have uh, some energy and thus that potential energy change is known as the chemical potential uh, for the solvent one there will be a chemical potential of mu one and for solvent two there will be a chemical potential of mu two so we at equilibrium we know uh, we told that there will be an equilibrium excess between these two solvents when the solute is added. So at that equilibrium point, what is this? The chemical potential of this two system will be equal. That is mu1 is equal to mu2. So there is an equation uh, uh, relating the chemical potential with the standard chemical potential and the concentration or the activity. That is mu is equal to mu0 a mu zero plus RT ln A and this um, for the chemicals for the solvent A that will be mu1 is equal to mu10 this is standard chemical potential of that solvent and um, R plus RT ln A1 and mu2 is equal to mu20 plus RT ln A2 so at the equilibrium this two will be equal mu10 plus RT ln A1 equal to mu20 plus RT ln A2 or we can say it as RT ln a1 by a2 is equal to in mu2 by mu2 minus mu1. So that is uh, at, at constant temperature this chemical potentials will be equal. Uh, uh, chemical potentials mu1 and mu2 0 are constant and r is also a constant. So we can write it as a1, a1 by a2 is equal to this chemical potential will be a constant and this uh, uh, RT that at, at a constant we are performing this uh, or we are validating this law and at a, at a constant temperature we are not changing the temperature of the system so we can write this A1 by A2 is equal to a constant and that we can since since solutions are very dilute, that can obey Henry's law. Since the solutions are very dilute and they exhibit an ideal behavior, this obeys the Henry's law. That is, the activity, activity. We, we, if we are taking the concentration of solution, that will be uh, termed as activity. Activity A1, this is some, nothing but this is a concentration only. Activity is equal to a K1 X1. Activity is proportional to molar mole fraction and that is equal to A1 is equal to K1 X1 and A2 is equal to K2 X2. So, from this equation, we at constant temperature, this will term will be, or this all can be replaced by a constant that is equal to K, K1 X1 and this K1 and K2 are the Henry's laws constant for the solute in two phases and X1 and X2 are the mole fraction of the solute. Mole fraction means the uh, total number of moles of that solute to the 
number of moles of that solute to the total number of moles molecules. That is the mole fraction. So x1 by x2 is equal to a constant. Or we can just uh, so uh, in this uh, case the solutions are very dilute so this can be taken as the uh, x1 by x2 can be uh, almost can be taken as the concentration itself so x1 by x2 is equal to c1 by c2 and this if a substance is present in two phases um, in contact with each other then at equilibrium c1 by c2 is equal to a constant and that constant is called as the distribution coefficient or uh, the Nernst distribution coefficient or the partition coefficient that is the KD. So this, uh, this solubility concentration is also related to the solubility of uh, solubility S1 and S2 or S2 and we can write this as S1 by S2 is equal to KD that is also the possible. So this is all the, the derivation of Nernst distribution law. Thank you.